Welcome back to the countdown of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Come on in and you gotta try the eggnog. If you've been following along with my videos, you know I've been checking out that my favorite Christmas movies of all time while I make movie themed cocktails. Today I made an eggnog which is themed towards National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Make sure to check out the full recipe that I linked to in the description below so you can make it yourself. This eggnog and whiskey is just really good together. So getting into the movie, uh, this is a Christmas classic. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have watched this movie with your families, uh, friends. It's just, it's a comedy. Uh, you know, Clark Griswold, he just always tries to have a great family vacation. Uh, this time he's not going anywhere, but his family is coming to him and everything always ends up getting ruined. Of course, Chevy Chase plays the title character and Beverly D'Angelo uh, is also supporting as well as a couple other characters. Cousin Eddie, a uh, big one and the kids. Clark's just a family man and you really have to feel bad for him every time he tries to do something and it just goes wrong. Uh, some of my favorite scenes from this movie, you know, one of them is whenever Clark spends hours just decorating the house to make it shine as bright uh, in his neighborhood and he goes to plug them in and nothing. And you, you just really have to feel bad for the guy. He just does everything he can for his family and they love him, but things just can't go right. Uh, animals in the house too, you know. A couple of the scenes, the pussycat gets fried from the tree. <laughs> That's a classic moment. And then there's a squirrel in the house. I mean, it, these are just some of the things that carry on. You can really relate to this movie because anytime you have relatives over, uh, you always have the relatives that you don't really want there or that aren't that fun to talk to or that are just a little crazy. I hope you don't have any cousins as crazy as Cousin Eddie because he is nuts but that's why I kind of wanted to make his eggnog because it maybe that's what you need this season is a little bit of eggnog. To be honest with you, uh, you know, this movie, I don't know if it holds up to the test of time. The jokes are a little dumb. Uh, it's that 80s humor, uh, late 80s, but so that 80s humor that you could get away with a little bit more back then where I don't want to say the audiences aren't weren't smart because that's obviously not a good take on the movie but uh, people of their humor has kind of elevated I think a little bit over the years maybe I'm wrong let me know but I, I really did enjoy this movie but it really to me it really never meant a lot to me and maybe that's because I wasn't born when this movie came out crazy I know but I never watched this movie growing up with my family. I actually just recently got into it the last few years. Uh, it's one of my dad's favorites, but I never loved this movie. I, and like I said, I always thought the humor was a little bit dumb myself. But overall, I, I think it's a really good holiday classic film. Throughout the movie, even though it is dumb, as I mentioned, you know, Clark has those family values and whenever he doesn't get his check that he's been waiting this whole Christmas for to put that new pool in his backyard for his family, you just feel so bad whenever he doesn't get it. He gets a gift certificate to, I think, some jello or jelly place and you just feel so bad. And maybe you've had something like that happen in your life with your own employer and it's just, it's so sad. Another thing I actually really think is funny every time I watch this movie is seeing John Gadecki, who's on The Big Bang Theory, he plays Rusty in this movie. And that's just always hilarious to me and I almost always forget about it until the next year and I'm like, oh yeah, that guy's from The Big Bang Theory. So I'll probably be checking this movie out again this holiday season. It, it is one of my favorites of all time. I really enjoy it. What do you guys think? Is this one of your favorite movies of all time? If you guys like watching this video, make sure you continuously check out my videos on my favorite holiday movies of all time. I'm doing a new video every week leading up to Christmas. The other thing I want to mention is if you like my cup that I've been drinking from, I link to it in the description below so you can buy it yourself. And until next time guys, uh, here's another cocktail and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.